Well, Baltimore police need your help to identify a man captured in surveillance in the brazen shooting that left a 13-year-old girl critically injured. Alexa Ashwell joins us live right now with these images. And, and Alexa, you spoke personally with the commissioner about this latest investigation. It's a heartbreaking story. Yes, Kai, it really is. The commissioner not ready to call this man a person of interest, but tells me they have yet to identify or locate him and need the public's help. Newly released images of a man the Baltimore Police Department is looking to identify as a 13-year-old girl clings to life at a nearby hospital. Today, officers returning to this liquor store near the corner of Fayette and Caroline Streets in southeast Baltimore, where early Monday evening, the commissioner says a suspect opened fire on a group of people surrounding a car in the parking lot. One of the bullets striking the 13-year-old girl in her head, the child, an innocent bystander. A man was also shot his involvement, if any, unclear. Uh, people have expressed that this is an area where drug sales often occur. Is that a motive in this shooting? And if so, what's being done to address that? Well, it's unknown what the motive is. And so that's what detectives are working on in their investigation right now. Commissioner Michael Harrison detailing the motive remains under investigation. People fed up over the violence. People are, are angry, people are scared, but they're frustrated also. And looking for more to be done. The commissioner pleading for the public to speak up and help them identify this man. Are you able to take it a step further and call him a person of interest at this point? Well, we are, number one, glad that we have that image. What we need is for anyone who recognizes him to please call us right away. We have not yet identified who he is officially. That's why it's so important for the community to give us a call, call Crime Stoppers anonymously. And another look at those images here. The teen remains in critical condition. Anyone with any information on this case is asked to call police. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.